The book of Jeremiah 17, 7, 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river, and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green, and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. Trusting in the Lord, Apostle Arkady writes, means in both losses and gains, seek God and depend upon God. A person who places his hope upon the Lord is blessed. Why? Because the wellspring of his joy is God. And regardless of whether he is rich or poor, he will be protected from any economical losses as well as from any disasters and political cataclysms. A person who trusts in the Lord is like a tree planted by the waters who spreads out his roots by the river. Being planted by the water means place yourself into the atmosphere of the anointed word. At the same time, the current of water is the movement or activity of faith or obedience to the word. Due to such a position, a person does not know when heat will come. Heat in Scripture symbolizes the all-destroying wrath of God turned against those who refuse to be planted by the waters and to spread their roots in the current. However, tries to take advantage of his relationship with God to gain materialistic goods. A person who trusts in the Lord first values the anointed word above all else and second thirsts and waits for the movement or activity of the water in the form of the word. Due to such a position or such a relationship with God and his word, his leaf during the heat will remain green. A green leaf is materialistic sufficiency which he did not seek, but that he had, he had been given as a free addition because he searched for the kingdom of God above all else and the power of the Holy Spirit in God. Making a conclusion, a person who trusts in the Lord does not fear the heat for the simple reason that his roots are deeply submerged into the everlasting current of the life of God. This is why he does not stop producing fruit to God, which is demonstrated in giving his tithe in accordance to the instructions of the Word of God. And right now, we together will thank God that we have this unique opportunity to demonstrate before God that we are planted by the rivers of water and that we produce fruit to God and this is demonstrated in honoring God with your tithes and your offerings. Jesus said, by their fruits you will know them. Who is them? Those who have the root of evil and those who have the root of good. It's not possible to apprehend the word of God and not obey the commandment of tithes. If you talk to a person, you will know in 30 seconds whether he knows the truth. I once approached a person and said, how do you look at the service of tithes? And by that response, I already knew how much he is familiar with the truth or cares for the truth to understand whether you should submerge your roots in the truth. There's a guarantee that we have from drought. This will come upon all the earth to test all those that are on the earth. And this guarantee that we have is in the currents of water, the word of God that will allow us to produce fruits and our leaf shall be green. Let us stand and glorify God and take part in this wonderful service.
Happily repeat after Pastor Arkady that every time when the nation of Israel honored God with their tithes and their offerings in the tabernacle of Moses, Temple of Solomon, they were required as a command from Moses, which he received from God, to stretch out their hands over their tithes and proclaim a great proclamation, which they continued to do, were faithful to for thousands of years, where the same Israel connected to the same roots, nourished by the same olive tree, we will do the same thing. Please stretch out your hand over your tithes and pray together with me, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. I have separated my tithe from my house and have brought it into your temple so that you may have food within your house. I do not give in sorrow. I do not give in uncleanness. I do not give for the dead. I deeply believe in your unchanging word. And I am glad that I have the privilege to demonstrate my love and to acknowledge your authority. And now, accordance to your word, I pray. May your heavenly windows be open to me, and may your blessing come without end. Upon your redeemed nation, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Amen. May you be blessed. Please be seated. <laughs> 